I saw this case yesterday and I thought it was a great example of the sort of analysis that's necessary in head and neck radiology. The history given was tonsil mass, so they did a CT of the neck, and you can see what they're appreciating here. I think you should pause the video now and see if you can figure out what's going on with this patient, and if you can tell me what other picture you'd most want to see. Okay, hopefully you formed your own opinion. Now let me show you what I'm seeing here. This looks like a mass of the tongue base at first glance, but there's no depth to the enhancing tissue and there's no invasion of the underlying layers of muscle and fat that we would normally see in an aggressive lesion in this location. Instead, what we're seeing is more like displacement of the tongue base, laxity of the tongue base. It's falling back with gravity. And then when we look at the tongue itself, we see that there is denervation atrophy throughout this side of the tongue, too much fat relative to the more or muscular tongue on the other side. Denervation atrophy, laxity of the tongue base, all of this points to cranial nerve 12. Where does cranial nerve 12 tend to get injured? It tends to get injured in the hypoglossal canal. So the answer to what's the next image you want to see is, I want to see a bone window of the hypoglossal canal. Here's a bone window right next to the hypoglossal canal. There it is. There is the destructive mass that is eroding into the hypoglossal canal and injuring the hypoglossal nerve, causing that denervation atrophy. Look at the normal cortex on the other side that's been disrupted on this side. Look at the disruption of the medullary cavity. This is a metastasis from colon cancer that has hit the skull base and injured the 12th cranial nerve.